Hello, good. Well, thank you for that introduction. Um, this feels funny, so bear with me. My first check here, I'm speaking English, eh? Je peux parler français, je suis arabia. Me, I need your help, okay? But this is going to be a group activity, so I'm going to train you how to participate, okay? So everybody is going to hold up their arm, okay? But you need to tell me your level of understanding of English, okay? If the person next to you doesn't understand English, be ready to explain, okay? Because everyone's going to put up their hand. This means I don't understand. J'ai rien compris. Okay? This means I understand a little bit. Black girl, I'll understand. This means it's all good. Speak. Okay? So, when I say go, you're going to put up your hand. Okay? And you're going to show me nothing, willu. Little bit. Shwia. Okay. Mali. Okay? <laughs> but check. Okay, check with your partner, check next to you. They understand, but I don't want to see the wrong fingers either when we start putting up, okay? So check your partner. Everyone understand? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, Bezef Zuj. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So I'll speak English, okay? I, if there's ones and you're next to two, hey, twos, take care of ones, same thing, okay? Group work. All right, now, the next thing I want to check is the answer to this question. And I'm going to check this. What is STEM? Oh, I hear some smart people here, okay? We're going to do our hands. If you know the answer, what is STEM? Okay? If you have no idea, this? If you have a good guess, one. Okay? One, two, three. What is STEM? Ones, twos. I want to see every hand or I'm not talking. Okay. Okay. Two. What is STEM? Please. Very good. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Good. Is there any other answers? Any other twos? Yes. Excellent. So we have, yes, science, technology, engineering, math. We also have stems that are the growth. Okay? We saw a very disturbing image before we ate of the stem of future growth. Okay, good. The most important word is what? STEM is innovation. STEM is innovation. Okay. There's one more word here I need to explain. Me. Who am I? Why am I here? Okay. Many of you know me. Um, I'm an American married to an Algerian, okay? <laughs> but most importantly for me, that explains why am I here, I'm a mother, right? Sammy is why I'm here, okay? Thank you. So yes, I love education. I studied education. What matters to me about education is what works. Okay? There's many problems of education around the world. I've worked across the United States. I've worked in France. I've worked in Italy. I've worked in Algeria. In Algeria, I've trained teachers in Al-Wed, Taif, Annaba, Wergla, Adrar, Bouzgen. Anyone? Bouzgen? No. <laughs> and Sidi Belabes. <laughs> education is difficult everywhere. Okay? We don't need to discuss the problem. We need to find what works. Okay? What works in education is innovation. Okay? One more thing before I talk. 
I think the most powerful agents of change are probably the mothers. But after that are youth, right? So I'm honored to be able to speak to the youth and their teachers and guides because this is the force of change. And according to me, the most important base of a country is education, okay? And it's the most difficult, okay? Brev, we have doctors who have training continuously, and they continuously talk to hone their skills, okay? You would never go to a doctor whose training is the fact that once they were sick, and now they got better, and therefore they're qualified to be a doctor. But that's what we do with teachers. We say, well, they went through the program, so they can teach it. It's not the same. We need to develop innovation. Okay, so how? Well, STEM is a new approach. STEM is recognizing that the world is changing. The economy is changing around the world, and it's changing faster than we can keep up. Most of you can keep up. Okay? I can't change the channel on the television anymore. My son can change it like that. So when we're teaching science, technology, engineering, and math, we're teaching for the future. But it's how we teach. And since we have teachers here, we have researchers here, and we have students and future teachers, I want you to think how we can be more innovative. Okay? But why STEM? Why do we care about STEM? Number one, world learning, my other hat in Algeria, is developing education. Okay? Helping youth find work. Once you get your degree, the rest of your life is using it. So we're, world learning is trying to help youth find work. Who is the best equipped to find work in a changing economy? Are STEM workers, computer programmers, physicists, petroleum engineers, survey technicians, engineering managers, sales representatives, forest tech. Okay. These people are everywhere. Many people in Algeria think engineering is in Hatim Saud. It's not. It's everywhere. Okay. But STEM workers also can adapt to a changing economy. Okay? The jobs that my son will do are not invented yet. Okay? And he has to be ready for that. I wanted him to grow up here. I chose to move here with my son because I want him to have the strengths that you all have. Algeria is a crossroads. You learn languages, okay? And you learn cultures and you learn to adapt, okay? The education system is difficult, I'll say that. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So I wish that our current educational system didn't quite kill us quite so much, <laughs> but you develop resilience that will serve you in the future, right? So what can we do when we're teaching I will tell you, recitation par cœur has no place in STEM. Anyone who's working in the STEM industry, were you ever required to recite something by heart? Wellu. No. Okay. You're required to innovate and think of something new. Okay. Real world learning through men internships, mentors, the real learning is happening out there. Okay? And teachers need to be trained. You cannot teach without reflecting on your pedagogy. Okay? You cannot teach simply by turning the page in the textbook. You need to understand, you need to love the material and have your students interact. We also need opportunities for higher level thinking earlier. Most of the students I see here are already post-bac, 
but we need to think of this at college. We need to think of this at lycée. Okay. I've studied what works in STEM education. It's difficult to see. This is the most important, learner-centered. When we teach teachers, I teach them student talk time, teacher talk time. An innovative classroom, way more student talk time than teacher talk time, okay? So, how do we inspire kids to pursue STEM? How do we inspire our youth to enjoy innovation? We start with teachers. Our teachers must enjoy. We have to have hands-on engagement. Like I shared before, my son is studying technology. He's memorizing parts of a machine that were built in 1985. Okay? This is not innovation. Toys, he should be playing with toys. He should be building with blocks, right? He should be playing with the 3D printer that GE brought today. So if you haven't seen that, go see. It's amazing. And our students should understand the future. They should understand their careers. But most important, parents, if you can't see, Parents need to understand too. Families need to understand. The economy is changing, right? We are not looking for la pause permanente, pour la vie. We're looking for innovation. Okay, so here's an image. At World Learning, we like to do tech camp. Has anyone heard of tech camp? A little bit, yay? No? Okay. Tech camp, we bring Algerian youth together to discuss technology solutions, okay? These are the four ways that we like to develop. New ways of thinking, new ways of working, new tools for working, and new strategies for in engaging. Now, I need your help, okay? Because I saw lots of twos, but I want to, you to check with your neighbor or the person behind her, you, behind, anyway. Check around you <laughs> and make sure you know what these are, okay? Je voudrais parler avec la personne à côté pour est-ce qu'il bien compris ces quatre choses? I can't say that in Arabic, okay? Okay. But explain it to them. Explain to the person next to you what is thinking, what is ways of working, what are tools for working and strategies? Okay. Finish your thoughts. And lights up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Little note there. Usually when I train teachers, they say, oh, madame, je veux laisser mes enfants innover, mais les classes sont trop grandes ici en Algérie et j'ai pas le temps. Okay? I have 18 minutes and 100 people, and you all just spoke. So don't accept that your classes are too big and you don't have enough time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, but what's next? So this, can you turn the lights a little bit down so they can see? Just a little bit, if it's possible. Ways of working and engaging, we want to see groups, okay? We want to see play. These are grown-ups who are playing. This is good, okay? And we want to see actual work on equipment, okay? It's not a question of resources either, especially here. Algeria, we have the resources. We need to get organized, okay? We like to teach soft skills how to talk to each other, civic engagement, volunteering, doing events like this, okay? Technical training, and it's good to understand English for technology. Right? That's not a political statement, that's just for technology, engineering, science. English will help you in your career. Okay, 
What else? Strategies for engaging. I talked to you about tech camp. These are people, these are Wordly. These are young people in Wordla who have organized a languages fun tour. They go to the, the villages of Wurgla and they teach the young people why learning should be fun. Learning languages is fun. Okay, whoops, there. So these are young people in Wurgla who devised a project, funded their project, do their project on their own and enjoy it. Okay, tools for working. I couldn't be more pleased that you have the 3D printer here. Okay, one project that World Learning is trying very hard to bring here are Fab Labs. What do you think Fab stands for? Fabulous. And laboratory. Okay. Fab Labs are mobile labs. This one is in Barcelona, where you find the equipment you need to innovate. You find 3D printers. You find large metal cutters. You find the things you need to innovate. You go in and you use them. Okay. Everybody, especially the students. It's not fermé à clé. It's open. Okay? This lab creates housing for people at risk in Barcelona and its students. Okay. Now, one thing though. Now, we talked about STEM. What is STEAM? Arts. What? Algeria? Yes. <laughs> The best, now that we've been trying to teach STEAM, STEM, we know it has to be STEAM. STEM is best applied with the arts, okay? I wonder why. It's innovation. What we want, who is this? Shkun. Da Vinci. What is he most famous for? Some machines, he's famous for his machines. Okay, the Mona Lisa, right, the Last Supper, you see. Well, can you say, is he an artist? A scientist? Or both, okay? So would you say, no, wait, which fingers, okay. <laughs> would you say he's an artist? A scientist or both? Okay, ready? One, two, three. All your hands in the air. Good, you all passed. I see two. Zuj. Right. He's an artist and an engineer, arguably one of the highest innovators in the world. Okay. So my question to you. Ah. Excuse me. Ah. My question to you is not depend on technology. <laughs> How will you be an agent of change and innovation? Okay. And I hope you get many ideas here today to help you on your way. So thank you very much. How will you be a force for innovation? <laughs>